Can you make a living creating and selling 3D models online? I believe you can. You can sell, create your models and sell them on your own website or there's various other out online outlets where you can uh, submit your 3D models. In order to do so, you want to create um, a, a competitive advantage that will make you stand apart from your competition. Now, how do you create that competitive advantage? Well, you want to look at what what gives you that advantage to dominate the your particular marketplace. So, for an example, and, and I'll look at you know my my own background, and you, you want to look at your own background and see what industries that you have worked at and what what insights do you have that will give you that advantage so for an example you know i've worked into in the retail online e-commerce retail industry and you know i i know that uh the the industry makes pretty much almost uh, 70% or 60%, as much as 60% of their annual income during the holiday season. So I know that, that that is the time when I can put my, a lot of my emphasis and a lot of my energy, if I was going to do something like that and, and sell, my, uh, sell 3D models online. So, Right away, I have this industry insight that I can that would help me uh, maybe not dominate the market at first, but it will give me an advantage over, say, somebody that creates models just in general and you know is not very targeted in terms of their their customers. You know, I I would have a very specific customer in which to market towards and that's what I would I would recommend is that to have a specific industry that you're targeting so you want to go back into your own background and see what industry industries that you've worked at or uh, an industry that you want to get involved in and in order to learn that specific insight so what industry will uh, do you know that will give you some insight in order to tailor your models for your customer? Is it retail? Is it game? Is it architecture? Uh, motion designers are a very, very time sensitive deadlines. So you want to take that uh, insight and you want to use that for your advantage, for an example. So there's definitely uh, advantages that you'll have that you can use in order to uh, develop your and create and sell your models. You also want to increase your competitive advantage. So what do I mean by that? So if you want to um, start modeling, you want to start with a very specific uh, subject. You want to start with a very specific model. For an example, you want to work with uh, just t-shirts. You're just going to be modeling t-shirts. And you, you do every t-shirt that you can. You model it as many different ways as you can. And you, you learn how to do that and become an expert at that. Or say for an example, cars. And you just keep on learning about a specific area. What's another one? Say couches. You're just going to be modeling couches, leather couches, couches with fabric, every different type of style. And that will allow you to just become an expert at that specific, that specific thing, that one thing that you will be known to do. And you just become that expert. You'll learn what it takes to become an expert at that one thing. You'll learn how many hours that it's going to take in order to do that. And what does that do? What that does is it'll allow you to become extremely fast 
at modeling that one particular object. You're not going to be unsure of yourself in terms of what points and edges and polygons and, and how to create it. It's going to become automatic. And having that speed will allow you to put your energies into more creative and more uh, elaborate models. So that's one way you can do that. So, okay, so now you dominate that one specific uh, thing, that one specific object. Then you move on to a specific, uh, another a larger scope. So for an example, if you're doing t-shirts, now you're just going to be doing street clothes. You're just gonna be doing, you know, say suits, say, you know, that type of area of clothing. And you're just going to, uh, you're gonna do jeans, you're gonna do sneakers, you're gonna do uh, hoodies. And you're gonna, you're gonna keep on increasing your ability because you already know how to do that specific segment. Okay, so maybe it's not clothes. Maybe it's, um, you know, you just learned how to make and dominate cars. So then you go into other vehicles, trucks, motorcycles, uh, watercraft, and you just become excellent at making vehicles. Um, once you get to that level, then what you can do is you can start becoming um, even better at like, an industry so you be broaden out and you want to dominate that industry so for an example if you're doing clothing you, you just done t-shirts you're master at that you're you then become a master at say um, uh, um, you, you want to become a master at say uh, the retail industry so now you have this um, you, you have this mastery of one specific industry. So now what you've done is you've, you've gone up the chain and gotten to a place where you have competence in one specific area. Instead of being scattershot and doing all these different types of things, you focused all of your abilities into one specific uh, one specific object and then you broadened out mastered all of the areas in that say um, you know automotive you know and say you, you mastered couches then you want to get into say all the other areas within uh, an interior design so you have living rooms and all the objects from there tables lamps and chairs so you become a master at, at that level as well then you get into the industry and you're a master of retail or you're a master of the automotive industry or you're a master of interior architectural design and now you have this this way of becoming um you'll have this area that of your expertise and people are going to be able to see that there's no way you can really fake that you have to put in the hours and master that time and master that, that specific industry. So now your, your competitive advantage is that you have an insight into an area. Now you have a, um, you, now you have a, uh, a, a mastery of a specific industry. The next thing you want to do is become extremely valuable to your customers. And in order to do that, you want to develop value. So what is value? Value is what's um, extremely useful and valuable to your customers. Customers want speed. They want reliability. They want service. So in order to develop value, you want to be able to do the most difficult things. You want to, if you're going to choose models to model, you want to do the most difficult things within that you can do. Um, very, the most extremely realistic, the most extremely realistic characters that you can possibly make. And 
you know that that is one of the most difficult things if you if you're going to choose to do something you want to do something that is is so difficult that most people don't want to do you don't want to continue doing the easy stuff because there's lots of people that are doing a lot of the easier things the easier models so what you want to do is you want to choose something extremely difficult uh, what are what are other things that are extremely difficult, such as very complex machinery? Um, those things are going to be very difficult to do. Characters that um, that have perfectly modeled for deformation. Uh, th these are the things that are going to be extremely useful for customers. So when you're deciding to to pick up a skill and you want to use that and and develop your models choose the, choose what you can that is one of the most difficult things that you can find and you'll find that that will give you a huge competitive advantage you also want to consider maybe being the fastest that you can possibly be uh, speed is always going to be something that is needed and if, if you have that speed that that extreme uh, uh, speed in order to model uh, that's going to be extremely useful so consider uh, making things that um, are extremely difficult extremely difficult to do you want to put all your time into that that's going to provide value for your customers the next thing you want to do is market your service to your customers by being a resource. You want to become a resource for your customers. So don't be afraid to um, don't be afraid to to sell your your or make your models online for free. What that's going to do is it's going to give you. Um, it's going to give your, your customers a chance. It's kind of like giving them a taste of what you can do. It's giving them um, ability to trust you in order, in order to purchase from you again. So by giving them free models, you've now shown that you can provide value, that you can do what you do and you can do it well. So don't be afraid to, to give away your, your, your models. And, and it's, it's just a way of, of building trust between you and your customers. The next thing you want to do is you want to learn everything you can about your targeted audience. So if for an example, if you are in the game industry, you want to learn everything you can about the, your customer that purchases these 3D models. So are they, are they male? Are they female? What is their location? Uh, are they a business person? So you, you want to tailor your models specifically for the person that is going to be purchasing them online. So it's, it's very important to understand that when you're creating these models, it's not just as simple as just creating something that you like. You want to think about the person that's purchasing them. What do they want? What, is, what services that they want to have when, when they're purchasing online? So don't be afraid to use a questionnaire or being able to email your customers and sending them a questionnaire and just giving them a very short list, nothing, you don't want to give them a, a phone book of questions. You just want to give them a very small uh, sampling of things that would help you making decisions about your models. Um, you know, 10 questions, say for an example, 15 questions, and that will give you some insight the next time you do your models. Um, ask about what have they used in the past? What services have they used in the past? And then you can say, okay, what can I do that is different 
than uh, those competitors. Um, you want to give yourself a little bit of an advantage there. So uh, I think that it, it's very important to ask questions when talking with your customers. Um, and this is going to give you a very human side and not a very cold side because when you have something online, it's, it's a very cold process. And if you're interacting with your customers, you're now, there's now a human behind uh, whatever company name, you know, Mike's 3D Models, for example. You know, now there's an actual face behind there. There's an actual person that you're communicating to. And that's going to build a bond between you and your customers. So I outlined a few tips that I think would help you sell models online, you know, create and sell models online. I do believe you can support yourself and have a, a sustainable business. You also want to keep in mind that you're, you're going to be, you're going to be constantly growing and you're going to be constantly adapting. So you want to be able to be able to adapt to your environment. And that goes, uh, coincides with my, what I've said about knowing your industry and really researching your, if your industry, if you're really in to what you're doing and you really know the industry, you know, inside and out, you're going to have, you're, you're going to, you're going to know any type of upheavals within your industry. You're going to know what's happening and what new products are coming out that could, you know, jeopardize, you know, your, your income, your jeopardize your, your commerce. So it's very important to be able to look at your, at your targeted industry and know what's happening. Uh, go to conferences, go to uh, various settings where you're actually interacting with the people that are going to be purchasing your models. Obviously, location is a difficult thing, depending on where you live in the, in the world. But if you do have access to a major city, then I would suggest going to uh, some, of these, uh, some of these conferences for your particular industry. Um, and then there's also meetups. You can, uh, design a meetup for any of your, your customers, if that's possible, if you're, you're in a, a large enough, uh, city where you can do that. And then you can actually speak to them firsthand. The thing about when you're doing something, you have, there's preconceptions of, what you're trying to do and your industry. And then there's the actual reality, the actual reality of what you need. If you get the reality of what uh, these customers specifically want, you're going to save so much time by just, you know, trying to figure it out and plugging away and making and, and just making stuff. So I, I think it's, it's, it's very valuable to talk with your customers and to understand exactly what you're trying to, you know, what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. I, I think I, that pretty much outlines a whole, whole thing for you and, and your business. And it just requires lots and lots of work. There's no way around that part of it. And yes, there, there are a large competition of people that are doing this kind of stuff. But like I said, you want to give yourself, you want to stack the deck in your favor. And I think these tips might help you in, in your, um, your journey of creating and, and having a business creating and selling 3D models online. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.